Hey, you asleep? You better not die before I've been able to take care of you. Answer the governor. Who told you of the existence of these plans? Who told you where they were? Speak! Who? Everyone. And no one. Sometimes you just have to listen to people thinking. And you, you think so hard, you humans. You prattle on all day long inside your little skulls. What are you going on about? Listen to people thinking. You still haven't understood? All those desperates who had the bad idea to taste amber, I hear their thoughts. I hear everything they think. And the elves, they're like me. They hear your guards thinking that they'd hope for a bit less boredom thanks to a small dose of this golden poison. It appears that smuggling is doing well. The elves have had your tower under surveillance since the beginning, Barrowman. Lies! You're making it up. Oh, really? Yet I can clearly hear your torturer thinking that this morning, he sold the pipe of a prisoner to be able to pay for a little smuggled amber. And also, that his balls are itching. There is no contraband in Akinash. Consummation of amber is prohibited. You're talking nonsense. Aaron, you will gather your men and inspect the bowels of the tower. I want to know the truth. But father, if the elves are spying on us, wouldn't it be better to focus on- Don't meddle in diplomacy. I'll make sure to summon the Elf Ambassador, and if they are watching us, he will answer for this betrayal. If you say so, Father. And so you managed to get hold of the plans of Arkanash. Have you given them to the Elves? Well, anyway, Querberus was the only one able to decipher them. No. I still had stuff to do inside your walls before returning to the World Tree. I heard that access to the heart of the tree, the bridge, was protected by a tamper-proof lock, and that you keep the only key in your apartments. So I said to myself, Hey, Rakash, if you hope to reach the heart of the World Tree, you'll need this key. Go visit this governor, and try not to dirty the carpets too much. Well, while I stuck up on throwing knives, I'll ask Ozcan how to enter the freaking fortress that is Governor Barrowman's apartment. So, I'm off to Lord Barrowman's place. What? Did you spill some brains or have you just got a death wish? You want to turn up at the big boss's place just like that? Well, I would have announced my visit with a hunting horn, but I left it in my other pants. Listen, friend, if you really want to go there, I might just know how to get you inside. I'll explain, if you'd just be so kind as to bring me back a small souvenir in exchange. You wouldn't know how to get to the heart of the tree by any chance, because it would save me time. Ah, uh, no. If I knew that, I would already have sold it myself. <laughs> the heart of the tree. Well, just reach right in the tree and grab it, old son. <laughs> well then, okay, I'll see if I can find what you want. Spit it out. I know that Barrowman has a secret room in his apartment, and I'd like to know what it's used for or what's inside. For someone like me, that kind of information is worth big money. Hey, finding secret rooms is what I do. Listen, every day, Barryman gets a delivery of huge chests containing his clean clothes, food from his personal reserve, and documents that he has brought up from the library. All you have to do is to get inside one of the chests and be delivered to his home. What do I look like? Pastrami? Then again, I got nothing to lose. What is it you need me to get? I don't know. Anything that looks expensive. I've never set foot inside the governor's place, but there must be plenty. <sighs> okay, I'll see. Will that be all, my prince? No. There's a guy. 
Owen, the foreman of the reinforcement works, a crook at heart, like you and me, except that all of a sudden, the guy wants to go straight. He had a vision. <laughs> you know the type. Anyway, I don't know what's bitten him, but he threatened to inform on some of my guys if I didn't leave him alone. I get the feeling that a friend of yours is going to have an accident. Yes, but more than that, I want to make an example of him. Something that says, when you do business with Ozcan, it's for life or death. Bring his body back to me, and I'll arrange a small show in public. Damn, transporting a corpse. This is gonna cost you, buddy. I hope it's worth it. Sitting up to your ass in water all day long. <laughs> Don't worry about that.
first step. Reach the docks where the governor's chests leave. Only because it's you. Check my stocks. Don't follow me. 